Hello there. A question came up on the Sansco community page on Facebook over the weekend regarding the position of the date and time stamp and to whether it can be changed from the position in the top right hand corner of the individual camera screen. And I checked it out on mine. Mine's a system which is about two years old. It's the eight camera system. And I can do it on mine, but I can only change the position uh, where it shows up on playback. It will not show it as on the live screen. So as if I still look at the live picture, the the details of the time stamp and that are still in the same place as they are now. But when you play the camera back, play the video back, it shows in the new position. So it's something just to bear in mind. But how I change it on my camera, on my system rather, is to get into the main menu. I right click on the screen, click main menu, system display so as I said each individual camera needs to be set separately so the first thing you need to do is in this section here which covers the region cover which I'll come to in a minute or the time display and the channel title all you need to do is tell it so if I'm setting this camera and I want the time and date display to be somewhere down here in the middle I would now make sure that's on number one and I would click set I can now move the cursor up over the timestamp and I can now drag that by left clicking on it and I can put it anywhere I like on the screen there. I can also, if I want to, do it with the same with the camera number or camera title, whatever it is you call it. So that will actually on playback show that date and timestamp in that position. To confirm that, you just go in and click OK. And then just to come out of that, I'm just going to click both the X's. And if I open up that camera, you notice that the camera title and the date and time stamp are still in the top right hand corner. But if I play that little section back, this is showing where it was before I changed it in the menu. And that is now when I actually changed it on the screen. So that is the new position where I positioned it. That does not affect the position on any other cameras. So if I play back camera number two, that still shows up in the top corner because I didn't do it for camera number two. So just to put it back where it was, I just go back to there, main menu, system, display, channel number one, which is the camera number two. Channel one, have to click the set, which now enables me to move that move it back to where I had them originally because I'm quite happy with them there on that one. Right click the screen, OK, and that's it done. Now they will actually now stay in that position on the playback of the recording whenever I play it back. So now I'm going to show you how to do the uh, blanking out section. So um, if I just go to say camera number number three. Now my camera overlooks slightly over their house. Now, the neighbour opposite is quite happy that we can see that because if anybody climbs over their wall, she's quite happy that I'd be able to identify that. My next door neighbour's there. I live a very, very good area, so they're quite happy for, for me to have that. But just in say that she objected over the road, she didn't want that window covered, and my next door neighbour there didn't want that covering by his front door. So I can go into the main menu again, System, Display, and the region, what they call the region cover or the blanking out section, is this bit here. So what I have to do is click region cover. Again, set the camera number. In this case, it's number three. And then oh, just click the region cover again. Now I can have one, two, three or four different sections covering. So I could have one there in the top left hand side another blanking section here, another one down here, or another one anywhere else on the screen. But they're done individually. So I'm just going to click on the first one, and then I click Set. And you'll notice that I've got a box come up. This could come up anywhere on the screen. It's usually up in that corner there. But that box is movable. So if you just left click in the center of it, I can move that box up over to my next door or my opposite neighbor's window. The box is too big at the moment, so if I just hover over the line at the bottom, I'll get a little arrow, left click, and I can move that up. And I can adjust it around just where I want it, like so. Right click on the screen, OK. And there is the blanked out section. So that will not show either on the live recording or on the playback. 
So if I wanted a second one, again, menu, system, display, and then I now click two, because this is a number two, that's number one, number two. So I click set again, and I get another little box, which actually happens, it's over the top of the one where I've just put that. So I can now move that down here, say it was over this complete corner. So I can bring it up there like that. I can go into the corner and I can diagonally drag it out like so. Once I'm happy with that, right click, OK. And I now have a completely blanked out section there. And I could go on to do a third one if there was something here I wanted to cover or over there. To get rid of them, let's go back to main menu, system, display, and untick whichever one it is you want to get rid of. Say if it's that one you want to get rid of, that's the second one I did. Uh, that's how you do it. And you just click OK. And in fact, sorry, it was that one. So I actually uh, unclicked that one there. But you just tell it whichever one you want to do it, to display to get rid of. So I'm going to get rid of number one now as well. OK, and I'm just back to normal live pictures now. So uh, hopefully that's a very, very quick explanation of how to do it. As I said before, your system may be slightly different. So you may have to go into the menu a slightly different way. Because as I said, mine's two years old. But it, I think the principle will be the same. So hopefully you'll find that helpful. Um, I don't really use it myself personally because everything seems to be fine as it is. But uh, should you need it, it's there. So uh, thank you for watching and uh, hopefully I'll catch you in another video again at some point in the future. Bye for now.